Our offering, Valence, encompasses what this vehicle is designed to do. It's designed to shield the soldier and marine inside the vehicle. The V, of course, for a V-hauled vehicle. Simple as that. The vehicle is small on the outside and big on the inside. The reason for that is we started with the soldier and marine in mind, and we designed the vehicle around that. Because of our combat vehicle production experience, in which we've made over 100,000 combat vehicles over the years, and all of those have soldiers and marines and users under armor. And that's the place where we started with this design. Nobody can match that kind of experience and what the actual user has to experience in a vehicle under armor. If you look at our team and you look at what they had to do, we had DX rated MRAP contracts ongoing while we were doing JLTV development at the same time. DX rating program trumps. And so there, there's been a couple of occasions where we literally took the team and said, we need you to go solve this MRAP problem. And they did. And then they got back at the task at hand, designing the most survivable light armored vehicle in existence today. One of the things I'd like to say to the team is thanks. It's been a, a tremendously rewarding experience, not only for me, but I think for other members of the team. We've been in on this together from the beginning. Our chief engineer, Stu Nakashima, has been with me every step of the way. Our program manager, Kathy Janoff, has had everything nailed down and, and really exhibited all the leadership skills the team needs to continue going forward. It's been a fantastic experience. We have a rule that says everybody do what you do best, and on this team, everybody has done what they do best. It's fantastic.